Located on the ancestral lands of the Anishinaabe, the Cree, Oja Cree, Dakota, Lakota, and Dene peoples. The province is also the homeland of the Red River Metis, and we acknowledge that northern Manitoba includes ancestral lands of the Inuit. So, good morning once again, and welcome to this beautiful, bustling St. Vitale Park for a wonderful family announcement. Before we begin, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Rochelle Squires, and I am the PC candidate for Riel. And we're more alike than you may think. I'm a mother, and I'm a grandmother too. I have five children and two grandchildren who are standing beside me here today. And I've got some experience in raising a family. I know that from the day that our children are born, we mothers are bound to their well-being. We bring them up with as much care and, as lo and love as we possibly can. And one day, when they're old enough, we take a photo of them by the front door with their backpack, and then we send them off to school. For many parents, that is a day of mixed emotions. It's obviously incredible to see your child take that first step forward in their academic lives. But it's also hard knowing that the input we have wanes once they head into school. And as long as they are in school, we might know less and less about their day-to-day -day lives. I've been going door to door, listening to Manitobans and talking with parents. And let me tell you a few things about what I'm hearing from my constituents. Parents are telling me, I don't know what my kids are learning. Parents are saying we want a greater role in their well-being at school. Parents are also saying, I fear that I'm losing touch with what matters most to my children. My message to those parents 
is that we hear you. The Manitoba PC Party will fight for parents and to share more details on how we will ensure that parents remain the most important people in their children's lives. I'd like to welcome to the podium our PC leader, Heather Stephenson. Hey guys. Okay. Well, good morning everyone and thank you so much uh, Rochelle um, for those comments and uh, just so great to be back here in St. Patel Park for this wonderful announcement on parents and families and it's so great to see so many people not just from here in St. Patel but from right across our province who are here with us today for this important announcement that we are hearing from Manitoba families when we are going door to door in all of our communities. We're hearing from parents right across the province who want to ensure that they are better informed to make decisions on behalf of their children. I remember the first days of school when my, when my kids, as Rochelle was talking about, had their little backpacks on and they were going to school for the first time. And as a mom, it was one of my proudest moments, but also one of the hardest moments to say goodbye to your child that, that day, that first day of, of going to school. The teachers and school staff do incredible work educating our kids. But parents want to know what's going on in the day-to-day -day lives of their children. We believe that parents know what is in the best interest of their children. That's why a re-elected PC government will formalize and enhance rights for parents and guardians in the Public Schools Act. We know that children's primary caregivers are best positioned to make decisions on their behalf. Who better than parents to be fully aware and engaged in their children's lives once they head out that door to school? There are currently seven basic rights enshrined in the Public Schools Act, and our PC team will enhance those rights to better reflect the needs of those kids today. The last time that these rights were updated was in 1996. Today, you know, back then, the social media wasn't even invented then. And many parents of today, many of them weren't even born at that time. In fact, in, in 1996, uh, my firstborn wasn't even born yet. So I would say that uh, a lot has changed in the last 30 years, and of course, that's why we're here today. There wasn't the texting, there wasn't the cyberbullying on social media, there wasn't security threats for students like we have today. And we didn't have the ability to inform parents in real time with technology. It's time for those parental rights to be updated so that parents are better informed to make decisions on their children's behalf. If re-elected following broad consultations with parents and educators, progressive conservatives will add to these existing rights with the following proposed additions. The right to be informed about curriculum, the right to be involved in addressing bullying and other behavioral changes. The right to consent before any image of a child is made, shared, or stored. The right to advance notice before any presentations are made in school from outside of the school system. We have heard loud and clear from parents that they worry about losing touch with what matters most for their children. What they're learning, how they're feeling, and if they're struggling. These are the things that parents need to know in order to make the best decisions for their children. And our PC party is the only party focused on fighting for enhanced parental rights. I'm excited today to announce this new policy with parents
from right across this great province of ours, from all of our exciting, our, all of our candidates who are really excited about this announcement and all that we're doing to make, that we're fighting for, to make lives better for Manitobans. We're here for you, we're here with you, and we're so excited that all of you were able to join us today. Thank you very much for being here. Well, thank you very much, uh, Premier Heather Stevenson, for that wonderful announcement. And I'm proud to be part of a PC party that will continue to fight for families. Thank you all for coming here today to this beautiful park and bringing your families with you. We are now going to briefly break for some photos and then we'll come back in case the media have any questions that they would like to ask. hearing from parents that they don't know what their kids are learning about and they want to be informed about what their kids are learning about. What specific subjects are you hearing about, uh, hearing from parents that they're concerned about, that they're not aware of? 
It's really just across the board, we're hearing in general that, um, that parents want to be better informed with some of the things that are taking place uh, in the schools. And uh, of course, uh, you, we have those rights enshrined in the Public Schools Act now, but they were written 30 year, almost 30 years ago. And so this is a chance now for those parents to come forward in all of the areas. They'll, they'll be uh, properly consulted. Uh, if we're reelected, this will move forward. There's already Yeah, so Carol, um, you know, good question. Of course, these rights were enshrined in the Public Schools Act almost 30 years ago. A lot has changed in, in those 30 years uh, when it comes to cyberbullying, some of those things, uh, you know, pictures on the internet, all of those things really didn't take place back then. Um, so there are some things that need to be updated. Some schools have taken on certain policies, but we believe that, you know, but some haven't. And I think that uh, parents, what we're hearing from them, is that they want to have uh, better access to the knowledge of what's going on uh, in the schools, and we believe that they have that right. To, they should have that right to do so. Do you think students should be prevented from bringing smartphones into the classroom? It's really not about what I think. It's what about parents? You know, parents are. We believe that parents know what's in the best interest of their kids. And uh, so I, I think that those are the things that will be discussed during consultation. When's the last time you spoke to Brian Pallister? Does it feel sometimes like you're running against him? <laughs> it's been a while and no. <laughs> if a child expresses, uh, you know, a, d a different gender identity than perhaps that they were assigned at birth. Is that something that you want parents to be informed about? Yes, yes. I think it's it's all of those things, and it's it's it, you know it's really just that um, as well. Like, again, we know what that parents uh, know what's best in the best interest of their kids, but that will all be part of the consultation process as well. So even if a child doesn't want their parent to be informed, if they express this in confidentiality to a teacher or a counselor, do you think that that should still be passed on to the parent? Well, I think these will all come up in, in, um, in the consultation and that parents will, will decide uh, where they want to move forward with on that, on that front. Uh, on a different topic? Sure. Uh, how do you respond to Wild Canoes? You're just keeping us all from the bouncy, bouncy castle, I'm right? Sorry, like, I'm I, sorry. I, I, <laughs> uh, how do you respond to uh, Wild Canoes assertion that uh, the campaign's focus, uh, your campaign's focus on crime and his background is motivated by his race? So the only one who's been talking uh, about race in this campaign is Wild Canoe himself. And, uh, you know, the rest of us, we've been out going door to door. We've been focusing on what is in the best interest of Manitobans. We've been listening to Manitobans. And that's what brings us here today, because we have been hearing loud and clear from Manitobans that, uh, that they want enhanced rights. Uh, and so that's why we're here today. Thanks everyone, Bouncy Castle time, <laughs> but not for me. <laughs>